I remember you stopped by that next night. Join me for a drink. I can't. Tomorrow night. If Kevin can join us. Did I misunderstand? I thought you and Kevin were... We're a team. May not be romantic, but it's solid. We're raising a child together, and I won't do anything to upset that. Sorry if I misunderstood. No, you didn't. Believe me, I've been thinking about this all night. It's been a long time since I met anyone I've been so drawn to. But then why not find out? I really can't. I see. To Kevin and Zane know they're your excuse. Two years, one month, three weeks, and a day later. How about we have that date now? Ah, oh, but in case I stand one little chance, here comes the jackpot question in advance. What are you doing from thy destiny? Destiny. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're here all week, night and day until Miss Destiny says, What the hell are you doing? Asking you to prom? I can't go with you. Cousin will understand. I'm not going with Tyrone. Then who? Oh, that guy's got nerve. Yeah, this future is a lounge act. Yeah, right? So, uh, what did Nate want? Oh, um, he was just saying hi. Hey, uh, you're in the musical, aren't you? Whitney Bennett. Nate Salinger. Or Cole Thornhart, depending on the time of the day. Did you know Cole went to prom with head cheerleader? No kidding. So, why don't you be my prom date? <laughs> So, what's up? Uh, well, I feel a little lame now that I didn't prepare a musical number or anything, but I was just wondering if you wanted to go to prom again. Let's move to the subject of bail. We request that the defendant be released, ROR. Uh, no objection, Your Honor. On an attempted murder charge. Your Honor, the defendant has deep ties to the community. Uh, and as you noted yourself in sidebar, he has a close relationship with the chief of detectives, John McBain. I'm sure Mr. McBain would vouch for his appearance. I don't see Detective McBain anywhere in this courtroom. How's he going to vouch for anything if he's not even here? What are you talking about, John? The judge in Cole's case. How much did that cost you? John, what happened? Go ahead, tell her, Manny. Oh, I would love to, but I have no idea what you're talking about. It was a plea bargain in place. Nora brought it into the court. Wait. Nora offered Cole a deal? That little bastard beat me up. What happens if the judge rejects the deal? He wants to stand trial. Damn straight. According to plan, right? Yeah, that's justice. No. Justice is coming for you, one way or another. <laughs> This is weird. I know. Yeah. Okay. Here. Did you need it? Oh, you need it more than I do. You no, look like a raccoon. No, you should look in the mirror. Uh, I do want to help you any way that I can, and I know that we have been less than kind to each other. <laughs> is that really the best you can okay, do? Okay, okay, all raccoon right. Raccoon eyes. Okay, okay. Um, I've always hated your guts. Is that better? <laughs> I swear to you, everything just threw out the window when I read the report. I mean, uh, oh, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I really wouldn't wish this on anyone. Especially... A mother, I wouldn't even know where to start. Neither do I. Have you talked to a doctor? Yeah. I got a second opinion. Um, they confirmed Greg's diagnosis. So you're just what? 
going to give up? I mean, Danny is not going to let you give up. Daniela won't have a choice. I'm not telling her. 